Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Really interesting equation today. We have force power, we have plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. And we need to find all our roots from this equation. Okay, we can see right now that we have force power. So we have no more than 4 roots and we need to find it. There are a lot of methods how can we do this, but I want to show you a really good tricky method how can you do this. First of all, let's divide both sides by x squared. So let's do this. Let's divide both sides by x squared. If we divide this element by x square we will have x to the fourth dividing by x square we will have x square right here we'll have only our x plus x right here plus one right here plus one over x and plus one over x square equal to equal to zero so we just divide in both sides by x square what are we going to do next let's regroup this with square and this element let's group it at first we have x square plus 1 over x square. So let's group this. And we have, let's group this element 1 over x and this x. So plus x plus 1 over x and plus 1 in the end, plus 1 equal to 0. So we just group in these elements. We have all addition, so we can do this. Okay, if we look closely to this, we have the same elements but right here we have squares so if we go with substitution so if this equal to t for example we have a substitution so x x plus 1 over x equal to equal to t okay but what it will be called this element because this is not like a t square if we read this element squared if we squared both sides we have that x square plus 1 over x square and plus 2 times 1 over x times x equal to t square. So we just squared both sides. This on the left and this on the right. If you look closely to this, we can easily cancel these two elements right here. So we have 2. And bringing these two on the right hand side, we have that x square plus 1 over x square equal to t square minus 2. And this is our next step. So we can easily substitute this x square plus 1 over x with this with this expression. So let's do this. Right here, t square minus 2 plus t and plus 1 equal to equal to 0. Simplifying a little bit, changing an order, we have t square plus t and minus 1 equal to equal to 0. Quadratic equation, classic quadratic equation, a equal to 1, b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 1 and we can easily find our roots okay let's find it we have the t first and second will be equal to minus b we have minus 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac we have 1 minus we have this plus plus 4 times 1 times 1 and all over to a all over 2 okay we find our 2 our t we can easily simplify our square root expression. So let's do this. Let's simplify this square root expression. We have minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 over over 2. So this is our, our t. But I want to mention one really interesting moment because we'll have two, two cases, first one and the second one. So this is our t, but we need to go to our substitution. We have x plus 1 over x equal to t, but t equal to this expression. So let's start, for example, with the negative one, because we'll have two t's, first one and the second one. Okay, let's do this. What we'll have? We have that t first equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over, over 2. This is our t first. And t second minus 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. Okay, we have 2t and we'll have two equations. Let's go with the first one. So x plus 1 over x equal to this one. So we have x plus 1 over x equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Okay, I hope you understand this step. Next, let's multiply both sides by 2x. If we multiply both sides by 2x, right here we'll have 2x squared plus 2 equal to x times minus 1 minus square root of 5. Just multiplying both sides by 2x. 
and what we're going to do next let's change in order a little bit let's bring this element on the left hand side we have 2x square minus x times minus 1 minus square root of 5 and plus 2 equal to equal to 0 so on the first side this equation is real hard but if you look closely to this equation we'll see that right here this is a quadratic equation but not a, a traditional coefficient right here we have a equal to 2 this is good for us we have c equal to 2 but b equal to this expression b equal to minus minus 1 minus square root of 5 this is our b so i hope you understand this step and in this equation, with this case, we'll have two roots. Because it's a quadratic equation, so we will have two roots. I write these roots right here. So firstly, we have that our x equal to <coughs> minus b. Without this minus, we'll have minus 1 minus square root of 5. We'll have plus minus square root b square minus 4ac. So we'll have this element minus 1 minus square root of 5 square and minus 4ac minus 4 times 2 times 2 will have minus 16 so minus 16 and dividing by 2a which is equal to which is equal to 4 so right here we'll have two roots and i want to write the second case because this root goes to this equation with t first but t second will have two more roots but we don't need to write all of these things because right here we'll have only minus, only minus and all the all and other will be the same. So I'm going to write an, an answer right here. So x, x first and second. It will be this root. Minus 1 minus square root of 5 right here plus minus square root minus 1 minus square root of 5 square minus 16 and dividing by, by 4. This is two roots with the plus with the minus. This is two roots with this minus sign because right here we have minus sign. And we'll have two more roots, x third and fourth with the plus sign. It will be completely the same but with the plus sign. We will have minus one plus square root of five plus minus square root of minus one plus square root of five square and minus 16 over over 4. So this is our answer. But I want to mention one really interesting moment right here. Are these roots complex or real number roots? Let's let's check it real quick. Let's check this. Let's check this root real quick. Let's look in this square root sign. So we have minus 1 minus square root of 5. So minus 1 minus square root of 5 square. Let's raise this. Okay, square root of 5. Square root of 5, we know that square root of 4 equal to 2 and square root of 9 equal to 3. So it looks like 2.1 maybe, looks like that. But if we subtract minus 1 minus 2 point or even 3 we minus, we will have minus 1 minus 3 minus 4, it will be 16. But it's not like 3 because square root of 9 equal to 3. So this is negative if you are talking about subtracting 16. If we subtract from here 16, this is negative answer and the same will be in this case because we have two point and something minus one and if we square it we will have a number less than 16 so this is complex roots so no real roots no real solutions no real solutions and four complex four complex roots so this is our complex roots Okay, this is my approach to this interesting problem. What about you? What do you think about this solution? Of course, there are a lot of methods. How can we, how can we solve it using different formulas? But this is my approach to this interesting problem. Of course, this is not like a general, this is not like a final solution because we need to simplify this a little bit. But on the first side, we can do this. But on the second side, it's real hard because we have square root. We have square root right here. We raise it to the square. We can like do maybe one or two steps simplifying but it's hard to find our final answer decimal approximation of course okay thank you so much for watching subscribing hope you understand this explanation if you don't understand write a question in comment write a suggestion in comment it will be really nice to read it and thank you for supporting my channel i really appreciate it if you enjoy my video 
it helps me a lot and it inspires me a lot to make new content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.